हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू मोहम्मद रईस ऑफिशियल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वॉट इज फिजिकल एजुकेशन एंड बिफोर डैट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ एक्सटर्नल मूवमेंट्स एज वेल एज फाइन फाइन मूवमेंट्स एंड वी विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट बिग मसल्स मूवमेंट्स एंड लेटर वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फिजिकल ओके देन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन so let's begin before that i am request all of you please if you are new to my channel please subscribe and share okay let's start uh, if you talk about movements the movement is the basis for survival to human beings we use different types of movements some external and some other that is in internal movements so we use external movement to ad, to adjust with environment okay uh, like example for moving from one place to other place uh, for sitting and standing for eating uh, for holding a book uh, for writing uh, for talking and for holding a mobile phone and many more things we use these things as a external movements all these movements are necessary for our daily life for our survival okay now come to next page we also use internal movements for our survival like our heart moves its beat its beats and pumps blood our digestive tract moves uh, its uh, act like contract and relax and push food along the digestive tract our lungs rib cage and diaphragm move to inhale and exhale throughout air so we when we we inhale oxygen o2 and exhale co2 that is carbon dioxide our muscle cells move slides and provide movement to our body because we have 206 bones and over it over it muscles and muscles supports our bone to for movement okay our blood muscles constrict uh, its contract and relaxes to circulate the blood our muscles help bundle blood vessels to circulate to hold our body okay and many more internal movements are there in our body uh, that are very important for our survival hence it is clear that we can't survive without movements so it is important for external as well as internal movements of our body our body move, movement internal as well as as well as external so if you talk about the types of external movements and in that one of the uh, best uh, example or you can say the fine movements is a category of a types of external movements so there are many fine movements that involves a small number and a small size of muscles like movements of our eyes if you talked about our eyes eyes is a fine movements okay movement of movement of our fingers during painting if if you are doing a paint then our fingers moves this is a fine movement example a movement of our eyelid movements of our wrist if you talk about our wrist it wrist uh if you talk about its movement it is a circum circumduction movement these movements requires less energy and effort fine movements take less energy as well as less effort these are called small muscles movements or fine movements okay now if you talked about big muscles movements uh, there are some movements that involves more number of muscles and big muscles of the body of the body sorry for example if you talk about sitting and standing and walking running jumping throwing and playing different types of games and sports then we use our big muscles movement these movements requires more energy and effort and are called big muscles movement so before we are talking about fine movements in fine movements what we see there is a Uh, less require of energy and efforts but in if you see 
in big muscles movement then it's required more energy and more efforts so big muscles required more energy and more efforts rather than fine fine movement so if so uh, big muscles movements every child and even adult enjoy to perform these big muscles movements there is no uh, uh, restriction uh, for adult or for child everyone can enjoy with the help of these big muscles movements everyone is happy in playing different games and sports either individual uh, running jumping throwing etc or group like football match cricket match volleyball match hockey etc so it will be a medical if you can reduce a, a educate sorry if you can educate a child by these big muscles activities playing different games and sports it will it may be helpful for the uh, children they, their muscles can be growth easily and their development of body and personality may grow and physical education is that field where which can make this dream true so if you touch with the physical activities uh, if you connect with the physical activity it is very helpful for you and your life as well your survival will be easy physical education utilize these big muscles activities to edu educate individuals yes it is very helpful to everyone uh, for every individual person if physical education utilize these big muscles activities to educate individuals as well as groups and teams members also and club so here we are talking about the movements like fine movements we talked about uh, big muscles movements we talked about internal and external movements of our human body okay now what is physical education physical education is the combination of two words that is physical plus education uh, if you if you talked about the meaning of physical education is relating to body it may relate to any one or all of the body characteristics it may be physical strength physical endurance physical fitness physical appearance or physical health so here you can see the meaning of physical okay the ph physical means physical strength physical endurance physical fitness physical appearance or physical health later what is the education education means the systematic instruction or training or pre pressure for life or for some particular task and in simple you can remember the definition of education what is education education is the modification of behavior of any person you can say but here the definite education means systematic instruction or training or preparation for life or for some particular task it mean it can be a education it can be a games and a sports okay so these it is all about physical plus education now what is the meaning of physical education uh, the systematic instruction or training which relate to physical activities or program of activities necessary for development and maintenance of human body the development of physical powers or cultivation of physical skills so these are the meaning of physical education it is the education which start with the physical development and advance towards perfect development of human being the ultimate result begin with vigorous and strong body acquisition of sound health mental alertness and social em social emotional balance now come to next page now we will discuss the definition of physical education what is the definition of physical education and i will explain uh, concept of minimum possible words and then definition of physical education by different physical educationist okay let's now come according to harold m barrow what he said about physical education the physical education is education of and through human movement where many of the educational objectives are achieved by means of big muscles activities involving sports games gymnastics dance and exercise so here we see what the Uh, Harold M Barrow said about physical education it is a it is also a physical education is also education but through a human movement we we move a lot like 
uh, in this uh, we practical with the life as well as sports and games and we use our big muscles uh, in activities involving sports and games gymnastics dance and exercise and yoga also okay to the according to harold m barrow the education of the physical education definition now what j what j b nas said about physical education physical education is that phase of the whole field of education that that deal with that deals with big muscles activities and their re related response so you can see uh, see uh, it is all about whole field of education that deals with big muscles in activities you can you can say uh, sports and games and their related response what we did on on ground or field or court this is all about physical education and its responses now according to lumpkin what lumpkin said about physical education physical education is a process through which an individual obtains optimal physical mental social skills and fitness through physical activities so here is a word uh, that is optimal physical Optim optimal physical means a healthy a healthy way stay active uh, wear comfortable uh, uh, clothes as well as what what comfortable shoes so mental and social skills uh, they provide individual difference like in their characteristic characteristics as well as behavior and the way of living they are okay now according to national plan of physical education and recreation in 1956 physical education is education it is education through physical activities for the development of total personality of the child to its fullest and perfection in body mind and spirit so physical education is very important for physical uh, for child for child if they involve in the early age of in physical activities their body growth well their bone make a uh, growth well uh, their height increase well it's help a lot to overall personality will be developed if you are uh, attached with the sports and games in child life okay and in then you then you will be then then you will get all the benefits of physical education okay let's come according to delbert about tenfer what he said physical education is the sum of those experience which come to the individuals through movements here it talk about experience yes when uh, we learn through our coaches uh, teachers uh, trainers they share their experience to the students to the athletes uh, to the sportsmanship so and, and they and then they learn from uh, his coach his or her coach what he learn they always want to spread to their uh, student to their athlete so we can say physical education is the sum of those experience yes it is all about experience of the coaches tra trainer uh, as well as teachers they 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 transfer all the experience to the individuals through the movements okay now according to h c buck what he said physical education is that part of the general education program which is concerned which is concerned with the growth development and education of children through the medium of big muscles activities it is the education of whole child by means of physical activities physical activities are the tools they are so selected and conducted as to influence every aspect of the child life physically mentally emotionally and morally so physically education gives lots of things like we we prepared ourselves physically mentally emotionally socially and morally we learn through the life it give the leadership qualities how to how to run the how to lead a team how to play the match against opponent and how to play match how to practice with unknown team or teammates okay 
सो थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू इट इज़ ऑल अबाउट द फिजिकल एजुकेशन इट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू द फिजिकल एजुकेशन वी टॉक हेयर वॉट इज़ फिजिकल वॉट इज एजुकेशन एंड देन वी टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज द फिजिकल एजुकेशन डेफिनेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू डिफरेंट फिजिकल रिसर्च ओके सो थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग थैंक यू फॉर लिस्निंग मी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर न्यू अपडेट्स थैंक यू